Okay, GGG reacts uh, uh, just in time for a new Zeth. Z I always forget how to pronounce this goddamn name, but thank you, thank you. Uh, this is Quasi Morph review. I've never heard of Quasi Morph. Does anyone know what that is? Nope. I have no idea. I've heard yeah. Of it. Oh, okay. Well, at this point, I just trust his opinion on a game. So uh, this is the Schizo Edition, whatever that means. I assume we're just gonna find out. So. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let's let's watch this and uh, let's have a good time. Hey, hey, Lactation Nation. Seth here. In the not so distant future, man no longer fears the <laughs> tyranny of a state. As so uh, I just, I want to know that was the state. Like her, this this is the state. That's the state of the nation. Yeah, we're oh. getting an address from her. I, I guess. <laughs> My fellow pay picks. Uh, <laughs> my fellow pay piggies hates aggressively. Fears the tyranny of a state as sovereign nations have been abolished. For we found the best form of government anarcho capitalism. Whenever anarcho capitalism is mentioned to me in conversation, it's usually followed by repealing the age of consent. But in this case, means everyone in this entire solar system is corporate property. Quasimorph is an early access roguelike where you take the role of Magnum ah. PMC, a private military contractor with flexible morality that does work for the highest bidder. The twist is, the world is over. Judgment Day is here, and we're all going to die. And we've chosen to profit from the chaos. But first, a word from our sponsor, because I gotta get that bread. Whoops, sorry guys, my PC crashed again. I had a single Chrome tab open, so my computer <laughs> house and killed my wife's son. That's, my wife's de son. that's debatably true, considering how much RAM Google Chrome uses. Chrome is an unbearable mess. It's a crim it used to be good, and now it's just actual garbage. Stinky. Yeah. Damn you, Google. Thankfully, today's video is sponsored by Vapor oh. GX. It's no small secret that modern web browsers <laughs> are massive resource hogs. They always say, just upgrade your rig, bro. But you know what? Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Todd Howard says, oh, yeah, just he did. upgrade actually, your rig, I, bro. He did actually say that. Like, well, he not... Did. Yeah. Like, he, he unironically was just like, just get better gear. <laughs> like, yeah. Because when Starfield was just unoptimized on release. Stop being poor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Using Opera's GX control feature to limit how much CPU and RAM a browser can use, so I can game uninterrupted no matter how many <laughs> minutes. Opera GX is extremely moddable. Check out this one that I made. I've heard your cries, your demands. More, Seth. We want more, Seth. Oh, <laughs> single keystroke. Uh, <laughs> right alongside you. Oh, you don't like that? You just want the themed wallpaper? Opera GX once again has you covered. You can fully customize which features come from which mods. And with a plethora of excellent mods on the store page, your browser can be whatever you want it to be. Check this out. By tweaking the music, keyboard sounds, tab sounds, theme, wallpaper, and custom shader, I've created the ultimate web <laughs> music to my ears. Now, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. I yeah. need to mess with the opera more. Yeah. We're now opera shows. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, hey, people doing God's work. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> Seth, this browser sounds pretty cool and all, but switching browsers is such a pain. Worry not, Opera GX has an import tool to quickly download all your settings, history, bookmarks, and passwords in just one click. Use my what? To I didn't know Opera that. GX today and say goodbye yeah. to all those pesky, Engineer boring gaming. other Damn. browsers. To answer the question, <laughs> what is a quasi-morph? Sometimes the most that was accurate a penis. answer... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's someone's going on right now. He's oh, playing Pokemon like Ruby really Sapphire music. He's <laughs> uh, Subway <laughs> Surfers, the Get Out Crying Guy, a PS4 <laughs> controller. That's just one of those like playmat rugs in the middle yeah. there. Uh, <laughs> Is the schizophrenic one. The setting of Quasimorph stems from the esoteric meta mythos of Daniel Andreev in his book Rose of a World, which describes Shadanakar, or the systems of parallel worlds connected to Earth. These concentric layers are Brumfaturas, the superimposition, influence, and overlap of which formulate together to create existence. At least I what it what the fuck? <laughs> like where does he what? get this stuff? I don't know. This 
this is too big brain for me. Rob, you're small a, brain can't rob. Yeah, 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 I'm just as lost as you are. Don't worry. <laughs> really? Yeah. You usually like like you We're usually know the dark minutes web. into the video, and I don't know anything about this game still. I'm so, uh, very confused. Isn't it? Oh, is that Rob? I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I don't know what, what's his obsession with with uh, uh, Doug Heffernan. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> what the, what, why are these stock images of him coming out of the sewer? What? Yeah, where, where is this used? I don't know. Also, I mean, that's we, a sweet watch. I want that watch. You started off with him in a fucking pair of honkers, and then we just get to him in the. I, I'm so lost. He's getting sucked yeah. off down there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh. Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, uh, turtles. Yeah, I mean. Sometimes Mr. Splinter, what do we do? Stroke it. <laughs> oh. Work the shaft, my children. Cradle the balls, there's four of you. Of a reality. And unfortunately, the veil between worlds is weakest between your children. Is this the game? Or... Yeah. I mean, I actually... I, I, I like he's it. so little, this but... the actual yeah. game, yeah. Morph is a turn-based survival extraction shooter, or in other words, 2D Escape from Tarkov, except fun. The principle is very simple. We take out a contract and send in one of our agents. If they die, no problem. There are not really any more people than they are proprietary neuro imprints. We license their consciousness, and we bioprint as many placements necessary for total huh. client satisfaction. You're free to take jobs from any of the major corporations, including the Quasimorphs. We may be locked in an existential war for humanity, but that doesn't stop me from holding stock in Sectlan. Rapture is coming, but <laughs> I hope I got some great dividends. And you start with a favorable reputation. After all, you did help them entrench into this reality. You start a mission by selecting an active contract around the planet or moon you're currently orbiting. This requires you to select a mercenary, a class, and a loadout for the mission, after which you're deployed into hostile territory. Anyone you see, anything that moves, is kill on sight. An entire no. mission is two to four levels. If you change your mind midway and call the shuttle, fuel is expensive, so it's cheaper to let you die. The only way to by completing the objective, which can be espionage, station defense, sabotage, elimination, or conquest. If you die anywhere in between, you lose everything. And I assure you, you're going to be dying a lot. If it's any consolation, uh, I died during the tutorial because I picked up a knife, selected amputate, and clicked on my head. Each department. Uh, <laughs> what? Wow, that's you, insane, dude, dude! I'm like falling for this game. Yeah, there's a lot. The to only it. winning move was not to play. Right. Commit by the way, you. for anyone watching this, yes, we're also sponsored by Quasi. No. <laughs> no. One day. This is a sponsor re uh, review uh, or no reaction we're, of a sponsored video. Right. We're sponsored to review this so, sponsored video. What was our G Fuel sponsorship flavor going to be? Um, uh, uh, Goonly, Goon's Godly Grapes or yeah. something. But we don't like grapes. We want watermelon. But. Yeah. So we're trying to figure that out. Legal's working on it. Can we call it Gooshing Granny? What? Gooshing Can we call it Granny? Can we call Explain it Gooshing yourself? <laughs> so you remember when they had like a. Uh, there was like a name contest a while back for a new flavor of Mountain Dew, like years and years ago, and one of the top answers was Gooshing Granny, and I like to keep that spirit alive. Why but, didn't it win? Yeah, I if it was the top, uh, because answer. all of them were like pretty abrasive answers, including one I'm not <laughs> going to say on stream because it's really bad. Let's well, not stream; it's recording. But uh, yeah. let's just get, let's get back to it. The higher your level of quasimorphosis, quasimorphosis measures the probability of ecolapse, where upon death the host explodes and a quasimorph phases in. The severity yeah. of the situation is described in the bottom right. Somnia, no events. Is that a bad thing? Ecolapse, intrusion, music changes. Ecolapse and aggression increase. Plenum, spontaneous ecolapse. Alteration, the entire floor is coming. Humorphose, music changes to its highest intensity. Every host in the map explodes. And finally, Rapture. If you want to live, you'll keep this number as low as possible. Now, Ooh. there's only a few ways to do this drinking vodka, smoking new ports, <laughs> and injecting <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds about right. right. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Be cool, do drugs, kids. Yeah. Bingo. If you move, you consume calories. At higher weights, this is nine calories per step. This is what Americans really believe. And to avoid starvation, <laughs> we need to There's that picture of Corey again.
Who is that? Uh, so you've yeah. seen Oni, right? Or yeah. Oni plays. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Corey from oh. that. Oh, yeah. That's just a really, really, really doctored photo of Corey that makes <laughs> him just look as just slovenly as possible <laughs> because the L.A. air really got to him. To avoid starvation, we need a steady supply of slop. But when the food runs out, I want you to consider alternative sources. When I consume my enemies, is it really cannibalism? For <laughs> I considered them human to begin with. Unfortunately, human flesh will really cause polymorphosis. You delay one death and accelerate another. However, if you find a crafting bench in an empty tin, you can turn that long pig into gourmet dinner, which will no longer cause quasimorphosis. The implication being that it's not about devouring your fellow man, it's about... There is so much to this game. Holy I want to play it now. He sold me. On the other hand, they improved the crafting bench so much you have no idea. We are so back. In general, the crafting bench will save a lot of your early game runs. Uh, don't sleep on it. Improvise toilet grenades, clear rooms, makeshift batteries, power autodocs, and floor scanners. Completing a mission gives rewards, but more importantly, reputation. You can land at any corporate asset so long as it's friendly and exchange goods for equipment. And if you're completely broke but friendly with tech land, you can even exchange yourself by amputating your own limbs. This is what? not a joke. It's a completely valid strategy to potato peel your digits, offer them at the Fever Temple, regenerate your limbs in the ship, and do it all over again. It's so you cut off your what? limbs, sell them, and then go to the ship to regrow them and do it again sounds like a it's a giga chad move yeah uh, rob's about to cut off his arms he's getting ready <laughs> <laughs> i can regrow them uh, easy gotta arrow it uh, we should be good it's not efficient <laughs> no longer exploit blood bag synthesis they caught on to us boys it was good while it lasted speaking of which the magnum can fabricate almost everything so long as you have the proprietary item chip. <laughs> <These> are... <laughs> <laughs> I feel so threatened. I need to know what's on that USB. Yeah, uh, it's it's probably like new codes, but you know, seriously. Yeah. Effectively, a perpetual license, and are so incredibly valuable that finding one during a mission is a valid reason for evacuation. There's also class and mind chips, which unlock classes and mercenaries respectively. If you mouse over a chip and you see the words "data miner." You've officially hit the jackpot. You can do whatever you want, but remember, your actions have consequences. Supporting a corporation will accelerate their growth in technology. If you want top shelf gear, great. But if you turn against them in the future, you're not going to be facing wage slaves and general managers. You'll be facing rival PMCs oh! and their own special oh forces. My God. So I got you. Pick a side any side and stick to it there's a lot of minor corporations but for the sake of time here's the big players sbn social media monopoly they own twitter the best energy <laughs> in the light. Real industrial mega manufacturer carnage pattern is objectively the coolest armor and they produce the highest rpm ballistics and calm entertainment and research conglomerate they make the most versatile armor the best snipers and the experimental hfc this game's equivalent of doom's bfg test lab oh, quasi yeah. from venus that'll make you rage quit at least several times. Everything is Aztec, from the design to the desire for human organs. And finally, the civil resistance. These are terrorists that hope to bring about something even worse than oh Judgment God. Day. A return to national sovereignty. They <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> I, uh, I have no words for that. Holy hell. <laughs> that man's a monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hive mind themselves into a cluster of consciousness known as a call node. In effect, they have achieved working communism. Anyway, you <laughs> that's okay. Understand the politics of our PMC. Let's return to the actual mechanics. It's very tempting to finish the tutorial and go straight to the moon. Somehow, I avoided this so I didn't get filtered by a wheelchair. Quasimorphosis is unique to each planet because they're subject to the influence of a different brown fatura. Venus, Ganix. Mercury, Shartamacum. And the Earth's moon, Dugur. Mars and its moons have obsidian, huh? which means there is no quasimorphosis. I don't, so if I don't know. Science mumbo jumbo. That he speaks. You don't understand quasi more to this point? Come on, guys. If you're starting off, I recommend Mars. If you're learning, try Mercury and Venus. And if you know what you're doing, go to the moon. That doesn't mean any single location is safe, and death is around every corner. Most common cause of death? Flamethrowers. Not in the hands of enemies, but myself. Oh. Uh. <laughs> got a splash because some unpaid worker amputated your neck with a circular saw. I assume... <laughs> Damn unpaid workers. Damn. Uh, gets, you every time. Yeah, gets you every, every time. time.
Every time. The weapon was busted, so I tried it myself in a straight line where it ricocheted and cut my legs clean off. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, did this say that again? I tried it myself in a straight line where it ricocheted and cut my legs clean off. He so he That's shot. Hilarious! Wow. That's amazing. That's really what? cool. Yeah. Um, all I know is Rob's getting this game, so that's cool. Yeah. yeah. When you take damage, you get injuries, which have to be treated, or they get infected. And if there's no antibiotics on hand, well, it has to go. Second reason. So, like, can you... I, I, I'm not sure if I missed it, but, like, if you amputate your foot, do you can you still move? I, I don't know. That's what I don't get. Yeah. Like, what's the point? I could just amputate everything then. And then well, just... I know the head, you die, so, like, there's that. Right. But, uh... You just amputate your whole body. You're just a head. <laughs> you're just a head. <laughs> you just roll around. The most common cause of getting filtered. Pain shock. If you take too much damage too quickly, you get stunned and lose a turn. Both systems huh. are universal. If you shoot something hard enough, they'll get stunned from the shock. If you cause injury, you can run away as they bleed to death. And if you amputate a critical organ, they might just die instantaneously. The number of action points you can take per turn is based on your move setting. At any so it has like a VATS kind of system? That is that right? I I'm not seeing think it. so. Well, like, it I like, like action you... points, and then you can hurt organs. That seems like that's to me. I don't know. Well, can you? I don't think you get to like them? pinpoint. Yeah, like the I'm attacking the arm. Hmm. It just seems like it can happen depending gotcha. on what you're using. Uh -huh. Yeah. You can switch between sneak, normal, and run. Sneak is one action point, but can detect the position of nearby enemies. Oh God! Use your inventory and interact with nearby objects at no cost. Normal is two action points, and run is free. However, while running, you can't open your inventory and take a severe penalty to your accuracy. Peak performance requires that you abuse the system. Opening a door, switch to sneak, see enemies, switch to normal, and toss a grenade before switching back and locking it on the same. <laughs> <turn. Another> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I like sweet. that. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Am I getting hard? Am I erect, Rob? <laughs> Rob? Like, uh, are, are the boys syncing up? Are the <laughs> our on <cycle laughs> sync? Oh my god, our jerk off crystals are shining. <laughs> <laughs> it's morphin time. <laughs> Morphin time. <laughs> Cocked out. Tendency to go autopilot in sneak mode and just die without explanation. What usually happens is they turn a sharp corner, get their shit blasted in, but because they have a single action point, they go into pain shock, which rolls over to the next turn, where they get shot again and repeat the process until they die. The whole point of running is to face check. Understand your tools, and you'll find this to be a very satisfying tactical experience. I used to have complaints about this game, but after so many hours, I can tell you, if you die, it's a skill issue. I have a brain parasite, and it forces me to... You know what's sad? Anytime I hear skill issue, Rob's actual face just, like, I like know. it just burns into my mind. Yeah. <laughs> he said it well, so many times he, to me. He, he loves his he loves his skill issues. He loves his skill issues. There's, there's so many times Rob's put me on blast, like, skill issue. I'm like, fuck you, Rob. And now it's you, just... You uh, yeah, you have to go back like 10 seconds. He said, like, I have a brain tumor or something. What? <laughs> <laughs> Me too, buddy. Me too. Which rolls over to the next turn where they get shot again and repeat the process until they die. The whole point of running is to face check. Understand your tools and you'll find this to be a very satisfying tactical experience. I used to have complaints about this game, but after so many hours, I can tell you if you die, it's a skill issue. I have a brain parasite and it forces oh. me to play this game at two times speed with cheat and what? <laughs> <laughs> brain parasite, <laughs> which makes me use this cheat engine. That Just can, to do uh, two times speed. Holy hell. And if there was a sponsored video, it's like they had to have checked this. You know, they had like they had to have <laughs> right, this part right. be like. We don't care, <laughs> you know? <laughs> right, just like, oh, you want to play it faster? Okay. Engine. That's a personal choice. I also use a macro to amputate every corpse. After 100 hours playtime, <laughs> that's a necessity. Classes work like a perk system, Damn. and each mercenary has an intrinsic perk. This unique ability combines with your class of choice to create vastly different play styles. For example, Percy comes with plus five to all resistance. Outfitted with full carnage pattern, he's the only person in the game that can set himself on fire and not take damage. That seems really good. That seems that uh, seems cool. Yeah. And after putting him in Phoenix Brigade, I can shoot a single round of incendiary ammunition 
and burn down half the map. In general, you should pick a mercenary that suits your play style. Do you want to feast on human flesh? Play Isabella because she's immune to infection. Even yeah. better, put her as Eclipse Blaze and turn your cannibalism into a one-hit kill. Are you tired of getting stun locked? Try Maximilian because he doesn't feel pain. Would you like a slower oh. pace? Play Mirza because her caloric needs are 40% of everyone else. Are you tired of... <laughs> What? <laughs> that was Five Nights at Freddy's Obama <laughs> edition. Damn, pick the bands, bro. What, what, what? <laughs> oh, you gotta see this again. Everyone else, are you? It's like a literal uh, split second. Uh, Obama uh, FNAF. There, I thought you were actually joking with the FNAF thing. Hold on, Everyone and then. Else, are you? And then, anything goes here. <laughs> anything goes. I, I honestly might make that my like my computer background. <laughs> I love um, this. Holy crap. So good. Uh, Holy uh, hell. Uh, the original uh, meme. Uh, <laughs> uh actually, um unlock the door. <laughs> open the door. Or I swear to God. Okay. Side note, uh, <laughs> we might we might be cooking up a Five Nights at Freddy skit. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. little, uh, yeah, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah, tired of scraping by. Would you like to quadruple everyone's inventory to the point where every enemy contains two flavors of ramen and a pack of lucky strikes? Play tunnel rats and experience the greatest whiplash in difficulty as everything that doesn't die to your shotgun gets knocked back into the void of space. I've discussed builds. Let's talk about guns because there's a lot of them. If you oh. want to kill enemies, you need to beat their resistance and the type of damage you do is based on the ammunition. Flamethrowers and energy rifles cook organics but have no effect on cyborgs. In contrast, the buckshot of a shotgun will cut them to pieces. Most armor huh. stops the blunt impact of a 9mm, but a 7.97 from an assault rifle will pierce right through. Quasimorphic weapons deal cold. Even if you're fully equipped, the f So I guess Quasimorphs like lasers? Is that sound right? I guess. It looks like lasers. It looks like little yeah. sperm, to be honest. Mm. Weaponized uh, sperm, my favorite. Rob, we're going to talk yeah. about that in a moment, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I kind of want to delve deep into what you just thought said, but... <laughs> Full burst of a serpent's mouth will send you straight back to the menu. And poison was previously neglected. Uh, now it's a complete menace. Also, very yes. very I love poison in games so goddamn much. So, so cool. I love poison. I act it actually annoys me if they don't do poison in a way that actually works. Yeah, usually they fumble it pretty hard in almost every game ever. Yeah. Like um, it, it, it's poison. It's supposed to friggin' ruin <laughs> you. It's not supposed to be like. Oh, I take a negligible amount of damage every so often. Like <laughs> Dark Souls one Dark Souls one did it really well, but then it went downhill really fast. Then it's just like just do bleed. Yeah, right. just uh, <laughs> I hate toxic so much. You're toxic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And because an enemy ran right up to your face, shooting you in the crossfire. And finally, you might be asking yourself, what's that little icon on the bottom right? Don't worry about it. Anyways, I forgot no. how to structure this video. So what? in conclusion, I give this game a self-inflicted out of 10. It's amazing. I know it's early access, but there's a lot of content already. And you can easily sink 80 hours on just the main gameplay loop. There's an impressive roadmap and features to come that I cannot disclose at this time because I promised I wouldn't tell. As always, more content to come next. Uh, that was... Wait, well, it's like, I guess there's more or is it just... For several years, you're all... Truly wonderful, and you give me more than I deserve. And you won't stop asking me to take your money, so I will, in exchange, <laughs> enjoy the outro. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I don't, yeah, don't want to get cut. But he, he can do it, so why can't we? I don't know. I'll just I'll yeah, mute yeah. it, and then I'll just... Talk over it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so, I mean... Honestly, I'm kind of sold on this, and I'm probably gonna. Yeah, this game looks sweet. It's like exactly Pretty something good. I like. I, it I reminds me of um, mm -hmm. like a roguelike shoot, uh, I, like an actual actual roguelike that I've played before called uh, Doom RL. The uh, top down kind of shit that you can fire around corners and mess with your run speeds and shit like that really reminds me a lot of this. So I, I think I might like this. I I was actually hoping there'd be some mention of co op, but I assume there isn't. Uh, right, right. I mean, not that I could think of a way they could perfectly implement it, but I just like the idea. Uh, Imagine being codependent on others for your own entertainment. Wow, God forbid I want to play with my friend Rob. Man, that's wow, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, actually, where and when? Right now.
No, but, uh, really though. Like I, I, I genuinely actually. I want to. You see had you. your chance on the bed a week ago. I don't know what. You Rob, you don't. Me. You don't know what happened to you while you were sleeping. I'm just saying. You know, there's. Yeah, uh, and I'm yeah. saying you don't know what happened to you. No, I my uh, ass hurt, and I was okay with it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just uh, your ass. What? what what's? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> And then I just like, I like, what's that in my mouth? Uh, <laughs> what was this? It was called Quasimorph, right? Quasimorph, yeah. I just want to see how much it costs. I'm hoping it's not more than 25, but it could be 30. It is da, 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 20 bucks. Yeah, I'll bet that. No, not bad. Yeah, I'll, uh, that's just like Monkey Island always used to say <laughs> never pay more than $20 for a computer game. Is that really what? Is that an actual quote? Yeah. Really? Huh. Yeah. They, huh. they were pretty right. based for it, actually. Life lessons with... Uh, and then I Island. take a look at uh, Derek's room, and it just kind of goes out the window by how much paraphernalia is in the room. That Derek? That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's got quite the, the paraphernalia, but... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, he loves his cars. <laughs> he, he loves his cars. <laughs> He loves anyway. his uh, his paraphernalia. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, become a member today. Join our Discord. Talk to us. Um, there might be a Rob calendar in the future. You know, Rob Cochrane cam coming soon. <laughs> Rob, we're in. Rob, you're gonna get us demonetized, bro. Oh, no, no, this, you, no, Susan. If she's still there, she's like, I need this. Get it on now. Who's Susan? The like CEO of YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, hold on a second. Actually, I want to see this. CEO of YouTube Sexo, hello. Oh, it was on sale two days ago. What? What is this? If you're interested, there's a twenty percent sale on GOG. A special thanks to the Ooh, autistic Japanese go. man. Who Damn, is he actually built? Suit. Holy if you're shit! In anything from a uh, Democratic Republic of Congo military suit <laughs> to a BDSM <laughs> outfit. I've linked his Patreon in the description below. By the way, in case you're wondering, what's the most expensive part of this suit? It's the snake skin. Have a merry 2024, and I'll see you all next year. Damn. What a... It, it, yeah. Confirmed Giga Chad? Yeah, what a... What a man! man. Yeah, he's a, he, he manhandled us in a heartbeat. Dude, uh, I'm like throbbing hard right there, now. Talk, there, get the camera, get the camera! Oh my god, get it! Get it! <laughs> bro, put it on! <laughs> I'll I'll put it on with my mouth. Oh, that goes on orange tube later. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. See ya.